Hi, everyone, and welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host, Pat Terrio, and I'm here with Michael Snipes, the head coach of the Gator Creek Young Guns, and I'm really excited to find out about what these young guns are doing and what they have been doing, and I want to kind of get in on the action. How's it going, Coach? Going good. <laughs> going real good. We appreciate you coming out and talking with us today, and uh, glad to have you all out at the Gator Creek Sporting Place to see what the Gator Creek Young Guns are all about. You know, it's good to be here, you know, and I'm hearing all the shots fired in the background, so... You know I want to be a part of that action. <laughs> well, absolutely. We can we can put you in in gear. We'll give you some earplugs, some eye protection, and we'll put you with a gun, and we'll teach you how to shoot before the day's over. Yes! You know, I love my job because I'm able to talk on the mic, talk in front of the camera, and also shoot and shoot things. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're going to have fun. That's what we're here about, right. safe and fun. Absolutely. And I'm glad you said the key word was safety. Now, tell us a little bit about, um, I want to know about the Young Guns, how it originated, and how you became the head coach and the things that you're instilling within these kids. Okay. Well, the, the Gator Creek Young Guns are a part of the Scholastic Clay Target Program, SCTP. <laughs> actually started several years ago. We've had a couple of different names, but it started a couple of years ago. They, it was a group of kids that were shooting with 4-H, and they wanted to do a little bit more than just shoot the 4-H tournament. And SCTP was out there. It was a good group for them to be involved in. And so Frank Helton was the original coach. He was the head coach that formed the SCTP group here. And Frank did several years with us, and as he moved on, it was kind of time for somebody else to take over and here you go. I was the lucky one. I drew the short straw. <laughs> but not only have you drawn the short straw, but you're also certified in this. So tell us about yes. that. I am actually an NSCA level one certified instructor, and I am a certified referee. And so I do have the credentials to allow me to come out to do this at least, whether or not I'm good at it or not, <laughs> but I have the credentials. Yes, you do. And, you know, I've already had the privilege of meeting some of these young guns. Um, and I want to kind of know, you're, you're talking about these are kids all over different counties and different schools represented. Let the people know about that, too. Uh, we have we have kids shooting on this, on this team. Currently, we have fifth grade through twelfth grade shooting with us. Mm -hmm. We have had kids that were as young as fourth graders. The rookie division is up to fifth grade. And so we've had everything from fourth grade through 12th grade. We're representing the Dublin City Schools, mm -hmm. the Lawrence County Schools. We have people, a couple of kids shooting from Telfair County, mm -hmm. and we have a group shooting from Truthland County. So it's a, pretty much a regional team mm -hmm. that we've built here. And so, you know, with this being a regional team, now you also travel uh, for competition. Yes, we do. We travel. We have competitions all over the state. SCTP has has a wide, broad network. There's probably, and I, I can't remember the exact numbers now, but I think mm -hmm. there's about 16 SCTP teams that are across the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. And we go and we travel to various various clubs and shoot you know, fundraisers and competitions. We'll shoot registered competitions where they'll shoot against the adults. Mm -hmm. uh, they also, but they do have a, a youth group that they shoot against. You know, they try to have different classes so that the kids are shooting against their own grade level mm -hmm. and supposed to be experience level. Um, and then we'll have a state championship. The Georgia SCTP state championships mm -hmm. are, will be held in Savannah this year at the end of June mm -hmm. at Forest City Gun Club. And Forest City happens to be the oldest gun club in the United States of America. So there's a little bit of prestige that yes, goes along is. with being able to compete there too. And so what do you do to kind of get these kids, these young guns, prepared for this? Because that's pretty big. Well, we usually, most of these kids shoot year-round. Mm -hmm. But as an organized team, we shoot from January through the end of June, mm -hmm. you know, preparing and, and working. That's, that's sort of when our team season is. And, but we'll kick off right after the first of the year with organized practices, and we'll come out and we come down here to Gator Creek. They're, mm -hmm. they're very good to work with us. Quail and his group have just been super supportive. We have sporting clays. We also have trap, and we have skeet available. So the mm -hmm. kids can, can practice all of their disciplines right here. Mm -hmm. And we get together. We come down here, and we start practicing on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And then once the time changes, we move to two-a-week practices, and we'll practice during the week and on the weekends. 
and we just work. We work on the fundamentals, and then once we have, because we'll take kids that have never pulled a trigger, mm -hmm. and we'll start working with children that are youngsters that have right. never shot at all. We teach them proper gun safety from the beginning. Mm -hmm. We teach them what they need to be seeing, what they need to be doing, and then we work with them. And then we've got right. kids that are advanced, and we work them to fine tune so that they're shooting good scores as well. You know, and, and you said something about kids who are, who've never shot before and some who are advanced. You know, just from chit-chatting with some of these kids, some have started shooting since they were three years old. Yes. Is that something, that's pretty common or uncommon? Uh, it's not necessarily uncommon for mm -hmm. these kids to get out. You know, daddy's out shooting right. and, and they want to shoot, so maybe they start with a BB gun or mm -hmm. a 22 rifle or maybe a small 410 shotgun. And they get out and they start shooting and then they move up from there. And then, you know, we've got some kids on the team that are, they're skilled, mm -hmm. skilled shotgunners. And they were, you know, they're skilled shotgunners and they're in fifth grade. Wow. So, you know, it, age is, is not. Just a number. It's just it's a just number. It's just a number. It's not a factor. And you've got two kids out here. <laughs> I've got two kids myself that are shooting on the team. Mm -hmm. I've got a fifth grader and a ninth grader. Wow. that are on the team so yeah we've got a we got a well-rounded group you definitely do and you know i'm so i'm already so impressed that you're you're teaching safety you're teaching basics and you're actually going out and competing now if there's someone out there that wanted to be a part of young guns uh coach what would they have to do in order to do that we we have a, a facebook page so they mm -hmm. can look at the gator creek young guns mm -hmm. on facebook and they can also give me a call or email me but the best thing to do is just be give me a call at 478-278-9372. Mm -hmm. You can reach me that way or send me a message through Facebook at Gator Creek Young Guns, and we'll get together and see if we can't hook them up. And let them come out and have fun. All right. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm ready to get started. I want to kind of see what's going on, uh, watch some of the Young Guns in action, and I kind of want to, you know. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> we, can, we can make it happen. We can make it Am happen. Am I firing a rifle or a shotgun? No, shotgun. Everything <laughs> that we do down here will be shotgun. Shotgun. So, but it is all moving targets. So all moving targets. Everything's moving targets. Can you make mine stand still? We'll try. <laughs> all right. We'll be back in a moment with Gator Creek Young Guns. All right, I'm here with Young Gun M.D. Snipes. Now, M.D., you and I have been hanging out a little bit today, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what you've been doing here with the Young Guns. Well, um, I just started last year, and we have been to a bunch of tournaments, and it it just is really fun being on this team. Because, it, and it is, um, I've made some new friends here, and, that's pretty awesome. Now, MD, tell us, tell us, like, where do you go to school and what grade you're in? Tell us who your parents are. I go to Dublin at Hillcrest, and I'm in the fifth grade. And my parents are Michael Snipes and Tina Snipes. And how long have you been? How long have you been firing weapons? Because even though you started last year here with young guns, how long have you been firing weapons? Uh, probably around. Were you a kindergarten? Probably pre-K. <laughs> so you started at pre-K. So here you're out here, you're a young gun, you're enjoying what you're doing, you're making new friends. Now, um, how did you do today with your shooting? Well, I'm not done yet, but so far I've done okay. Okay. Now, in, when it comes to competition, now you guys are having to go to Savannah to compete, compete right? Um, well, we go to Savannah, Versailles. Um... We go to... Um, you guys are doing a lot of traveling we, to going to compete, right? Yeah. We, um, and earlier this year we went to Elberton and shot, and um, that was me, Blake, and Garrett that went, and um, those are two of the other boys on the team, and we we um, did really good there and had fun. And You had fun, and you're doing something that you love. Now, your sister, your sister shoots out here too? How was it? How was it being out here with your sister? Mm, okay. <laughs> mm, okay. Now, so what things do you have to work on in order to uh, get ready for competition? Um. Well, you have to 
just work on the targets and get to where you can hit the different types of targets that they're going to be throwing. And once you do that, it's just going to be a mixture mm -hmm. of those targets just in a different order when you go to um, to competition. That's what it is. Now, so are you a hunter as well? Do you hunt? Yes. What do you like to hunt? Uh, deer, turkey, doves. You're pretty good at it? Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, MB, thank you. I know you're not finished yet, so you're going uh, going back out there to do some more stuff, right? Mm -hmm. All right, this is MD Snipes, everyone. I'm here with another young gun, Mr. Blake Bozeman. Now, now, Blake, I want to hear all about the stuff that you're doing here with young guns. Well, we go and shoot different courses, and we practice two times a week right now, and we go shoot skeet and all other stuff. Now, what kind of thing, what do you think is um, your favorite thing doing out here? Skeet. Skeet shoot. Why? Why skeet shoot? Because basically if you have it down with all your leads and stuff, it's, it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Like this sporting clays change. Yeah, I've like noticed that. <laughs> every, every course that you go to is different. And so tell us about this course uh, with, the, with it changing. It's kind of like a little, like how putt-putt is. It has different stations. Tell mm -hmm. us about it. Well, usually you'll go to 10 to 12 stations and either shoot four or eight times. And basically there's all different kind of presentations of targets. We just try to shoot them. And how long have you been doing this kind of stuff? Two years, I think. Two years. And you go to Trinity. Tell us about, I mean, because I've met your family, and so I want you to tell the people about where you go to school because, you know, talking to your coach, there's a lot of different representation from different schools here in the area. Well, I go to Trinity. That's about it. <laughs> now, what grade are you in? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. You know, did I have to pull that out of you? That you're in eighth grade. All right. Now, I'm enjoying myself out here, and I kind of asked little MD. I want to know how long he's been shooting. What about you? What's your history? I started shooting three or four years ago with my grandpa. With your grandpa, and now you're continuing on. Um, and so the competition, you're getting ready for competition. What things are you having to work on personally to improve yourself to be ready for competition? My main thing is to control my anger when I miss. Mm. So how does your how do you get when you miss? I mean, just put it behind you. <laughs> but you don't miss much, right? I try not to. You try not to. You've heard it from this guy right here. All right. Well, good luck with competition. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm here with uh, Bo Grimes here, one of the young guns. What's up, Bo? Nothing much. Nothing much. <laughs> now, Bo, can you tell the people a little bit about yourself? I know you're excited to be on camera, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> so tell them a little bit about yourself. Tell them about your parents and where you go to school. I go to school at Telford County Elementary School. My parents are Bo Grimes and Paul Grimes. And I like to shoot skeets and hunt. You like to shoot skeets and hunt. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. How long have you been shooting skeets and hunting? Since I was seven years old. Since you were seven years old, you were holding a shotgun, is that right? Now, um, did you start off with a BB gun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now you've progressed through the years, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And so, uh, do your parents shoot as well? or? My dad does, but my sister and my mama don't. Okay, so this is something you and your dad like to do, a little father-son time, right? Mm hmm Okay, are you excited about the uh, competition coming up? Not really. Not really? <laughs> nervous. You're nervous, but you know what? You've got to work that nervous energy out early so that when it comes, up, comes time for competition, you've got your game face on. Wear your sunglasses. That helps you be less nervous, okay? <laughs> He's pulling them out. <laughs> Put those on. Put those on. Those are safety glasses. But you know what? But you're enjoying being here. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right. Well, keep doing what you're doing and continue to be safe, okay? okay. All right. Oh. I'm here with Cameron Brownlee. I want you to just introduce yourself um, to, to the people out there. Uh, tell us who your parents are and where you go to school. My name is Cameron, and my parents are Doug and Keila Brownlee. I go to West Lawrence Middle School. And and I'm in the seventh grade. Seventh grade. How long have you been with Young Guns? Not very long. Are you enjoying it out here? Fantastic. Little Miss Brownlee here. She's enjoying herself out here with the young guns. Thank you, dear. Pull. All right, I brought the gun, the girl power here for the young guns. I've got Shelby Lynn Snipes. Girl power. Oh, yes. <laughs> 
All right, Shelby Lynn, tell us about how it is for you being on Young Guns and how long you've been Okay, I've been, this is my fourth year, and mm -hmm. it's pretty difficult being one of the only girls. I think there are three girls, so it's pretty weird. What's so weird about it? I mean, you know, this is a day and age where we girls are just showing that we've got it going on. I think it's pretty cool seeing you out there. So you've been doing this for four years. Yeah. How, when did you start shooting? When I was in sixth grade. Sixth grade. And so the thing that you're working on out here now, I've seen you shoot. And you know, your mama brags on you about how great form that you have. How long did it take you to kind of get prepared to do this kind of thing? Um, I started thinking about it in fourth grade, and then when sixth grade came, that's when I really started getting prepared for it. Really? So it took me a while it's I had to get in the mindset that this is what I'm going to do. Wow, and you're loving what you're doing? I love it. What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing? Sport and clays. Like being out here more than being up on the skate field. So now why sport and clays? What is it about that? Because skate field, it takes memorization and concentration, mm -hmm. and I don't have that much. So when I right. come out in sport and clays, it's always different. Mm -hmm. And I guess I like the excitement of it being different. Oh, with the difference. Uh, yeah. The different targets. The different targets. And I've learned you've got to have good hand and eye coordination. Yeah. Now tell us, where do you go to school and, and what grade you're in? I go to Dublin High School and I'm in ninth grade. Oh, you're a freshman. And yeah. this necklace, look, can you guys see this cool little necklace she's got on? What does that mean? Tell us what that is. This? Okay. It's got two duck tags that you put on when you kill a duck and then it's got the top of a shotgun shell in the center. So you've killed some things. Now tell us about the kills you've had, Shelby Lynn. Um, I haven't killed any ducks. I did kill a buck a year ago. A buck? Was hunting. Wow, that's fantastic. And you did, did you have it mounted or you kept the... We kept, um, we mounted it. We mounted the skull. That is awesome. I'm so proud of you, Shelby Lynn. All right, we'll be back in just a moment with the Gator Creek Young Guns. All right, I'm here with Alex Clark, and he's about to show me how to shoot sporting clays. That's correct. You know this is my first time, Alex. You should be fine. Right eye dominant, right handed, you'll do fine. Now, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this since I was eight, and um, I'm 27 now. So I've been doing this a little longer than you. Yeah, you got a little bit more practice than me, so you all be aware of that. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, let's give this a try. Okay. You your, your hearing protection. Put it on now? Right now. Okay, dokey. Don't try this at home unless you have some... <clears throat> Proper equipment. Exactly. Like. Yep. Oh, oh that's kind of yeah, We might need to get these, too. Are you serious? What's... Eye uh, and ear. Mm. Okay. That's your color. That is my color. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll put the barrel through the through the field goals there. Make sure it's down range. All right. It's safe. Okay. All right. And we'll drop the first shell in here. Mm -hmm. And with this button, it'll close the bolt, mm -hmm. and one goes in the bottom, and that one will be ready to fire after you shoot the first one. Okay. This is your safety. Once you push it down, the gun will be ready to fire. All right. All right. Go ahead and get it mounted, and um, I'll be throwing this target from your left, and it'll come out from the left, right out in front. Okay. Wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Let's get the this gun a little lower. A little lower? About right here? Right on there. And you'll okay. be looking down it. Yes. And we'll get the gun a little higher. Oh my goodness. And are you ready to fire? No. I mean, already? Yeah. Huh. Oh God. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Where's the target coming from? I'll, I'll show it to you. This will be it from the left. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait. Don't, don't push the target yet. Okay. Is the safety still on? The safety's still on. Okay, you're gonna have to take it off the safety before. Right. I mean, give me a second. What am I supposed to see right now? All right, you'll see that green dot at I the end? I do see it. You'll put the green dot on the orange target and pull the trigger. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, you ready? Not, no, but I don't have any choice. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh gun, my god. The gun's on fire. Wait, babe, wait. Oh god, I'm so nervous. You ready? Is it gonna hurt my shoulder? No. You sure? Positive. Okay, I see this green dot, and so this green dot is supposed to hit whatever comes out. Yep. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, you ready? Mm-mm. But I guess so. Alright, say pull when you're ready. Oh god. <laughs> I'm sweating right now. Alright, wait. 
cool. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, you need to take a break. Okay, hold it. Oh my god! Did it hurt? Are you filming this wrong? That okay? Did I hit it? No. <laughs> Did I come close? You shot. That's the first step. All right. All right. Oh my God. All right, let you me ready, try it again. You read it again. Yes. All right, now that all the nerves are, are out. No, they're, they're not out. Oh, they're not. All right, you still have one in it? Okay. Where's it coming from now? It's gonna be the same spot. Okay, wait, wait. Is it still in safety? It's on, it's on safety. Okay, done. I didn't even see the thing come out, I don't think. You want me to help you aim it? Yes. Okay. Show take me where it's Take a step to the right. Uh -huh. And then come up to your left side. Uh -huh. All right. The bird will be coming out from here. Uh huh. And it'll go up. Oh, that high. Bam. Where's okay. the best place to shoot it? Right there. Right there. Yep. You want me to help you aim it while you shoot? Yes. Okay. All right. Click your safety off. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, my God. Got it. All right. All right. On your call, he'll throw the target. Is it is it right in the right place of my shoulders? Yep, you're looking good. Wait, move to okay. What do I need to say? Pull. Pull. Right over the top. Oh my but, god. But that's real close. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I still I did it, but I didn't hit it, right? You didn't hit it. Did I come close? You were real close. Yeah. I think one more shell, you'll get it. You've been doing it for 21 years. That's why. You'll get it, though. I promise. Okay. Let's try it again. All right. Well, okay. Let's go. All right. You know, I've got people in the background that are watching. I hope they're cheering me on and not laughing. Oh, wait till you hit one. They're going to explode. <laughs> All right. You ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Gun safe. Okay. Is it right here in the right spot of my shoulder? Yep. Check it out. Pull it. And you'll pull it with this hand into your shoulder. And mm -hmm. that, that takes the that kick keeps out of it. it. Yeah, that's what it has to have. Take the safety off. Wait a minute. Okay. That always makes me nervous taking the safety off. All right. On your call. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Pull. All right, we're gonna to try to break it up a little higher this time. Okay. All right, your call. Pull. Try it again. Pull. Oh my God, I hit one! Ah! Oh my God! So, oh my God! For your average beginner, it takes six shells. feels good. That was awesome. It's addictive. Oh now, my god. Now you got to spend a lot of money on shells. Right. And upgrades. And <laughs> no more purses. It's shells, shells and, and shotguns. shotguns. Mm, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You did great. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the show today with the Gator Creek Young Guns. I have had a wonderful time. You have met all the, the coaches. You've met some of these uh, young gun shooters and it's been wonderful. I had the opportunity myself to be a part of it and uh, I did pretty good. So thank you for watching Real Talk, and please keep watching. Oh my God, I hit one!